guys you are invited with my share fruit this is how it looks like i already showed that to you in my previous video if you didn't see it go back and watch that video so i have some sunscreen on she gave me some sunscreen that's why my skin is shiny and you are invited station I'm about to pick bus to the panda and yeah this is how it looks like the weather is so sunny Okay. After that chicken, you will now pay the entrance fee. Okay. How much is the chicken? You know the chicken is 20 cities. Okay. And they see also no Ghanaian, so they came here they pay 20 cities each. And no Ghanaian, they are paying 25 cities. So we have the chicken now. This is the chicken that will be used to feed the I mean, this is the only way they can come out if they hear the sound of the chicken. They know it's meat, so they come out. So let's go guys. That you are, the chicken is small. You know, normally this crocodile, you know, they don't have tank. Okay. So that's why normally give the small, small chickens. Mm. Because if you give the big one, yeah. And sometimes the problem is that you know this crocodile want to satisfy, they don't want to come out. Okay. So sometimes if you give the big chicken, mm -hmm. they don't come out again. Okay. Yeah, that's why normally give the small, small ones. Okay. So, that they so get that's hungry. the hungry. Yeah. Before if you give the big one, two of them they won't come out again. So that's what normally do the small, small one. So have you fed them this morning? No, you, you are the first group. We are the first group. Oh, right. Yeah. Is it that when, only when you have visitors, then you feed them? No, no the, morning, the morning will chime for you people. You no, know, there's day like that. We don't, we don't have visitors here. So you, the morning, that morning to buy the chicken. The entrance fee. Okay. Uh, you, that morning to buy the chicken and feed them. Not all of them, but the three new ones. There are about 15 of them. So like, how often do you feed them? We we'll feed them early in the morning. Come to around afternoon, we we'll give them one. Evening time, we we'll give them. We we'll give them one. All of them. All of them. Not all of them. Uh, the ones that come. The ones come. The... You know, they make over two hundred inside this one. Yeah. So we we'll only feed the train or those who are trained. You know, those who are not trained. Even that one, they won't come out for you to see. Because mm. they are not trained. Mm. But the train one will come out. If you just go and call it, they will come out. The train ones. Okay. But those who are not trained, they they they, they will inside the one. They don't come out. So what would they eat? They are fish and frog there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they swim with Do them. people still swim with their crocodiles? Now they stand. Now they've stopped? They stop. Why? Come to Iran, you know, during the, the dry season, people swim with their body stand. You know, the water is plenty, so. Oh, okay. Don't that but their dry season. Yeah, come to Iran, January to uh, this thing. March to January. Mm -hmm. If you come here, you see the children inside swim with them. Okay. But this time they stop. And how come the crocodiles don't bite them? You know, you see, you know, Paga here, we don't eat the crocodile meat. It's okay. about taboo. One that die, we do better than the real brother said. And that's why they are now friendly to us. You know, one that die, we better than the real brother said. Mm. You know, we don't kill them, we don't eat the meat. Paga mm -hmm. here, we don't eat the crocodile meat. One that die, we better than the real brother said. So, I, I, tried, I tried crocodile meat in Kenya. If you are watching this video and you eat crocodile meat, just know that here is very sacred. They don't we eat don't crocodile do meat. Don't do that. They don't do that. Nah, they don't, don't do, do that, that here. Don't do that. So yeah, we are currently here about to call them with this chicken and hopefully get to see them take some videos, take some pictures. So let's go back. Mm. 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 Okay, I, want, I want to capture the crocodile in like slow motion. So he's currently calling them. Anywhere here, crocodile can pop out. 
Let's try it. Let's try it. Bye. 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 You go this way. For Gloria. So Jonah has decided to. It's coming forward. It's coming. It's coming. Wait down. Put down. Wait down. 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 Let it hit the map. Down. Wait. Try run. Is there only one crocodile we are going to see? There yeah, are many. They call the chickens are one. So if you want to see plenty, unless you buy, you buy plenty more chicken. chicken. Yes, right, you can see plenty. Oh, okay. So the more so, chicken you get, the more yeah. crocodiles you get to see. They are here, why they are friendly is that they save the life of the founder of this town who was a hunter. So one day he went to the bush to hunt all his water and food. He took a long film, got finished. Okay. And there was no way he went to the bush to hunt. He sat under a tree when he saw one crocodile pass. And he realized that crocodile didn't stay anywhere apart from water. So he followed it gradually, gradually. When I enter a hole where there is water, he fed the water and drank and filled some of his containers and he started hunting again. When he finished something, coming back home, he met the river. The river was flooded and there was no way he could cross this river. As he was standing there, he saw the same crocodile trying to cross this river. And those days, hunted those poco animals. This man spoke to it and he held the tail of the crocodile and the crocodile pulled him across this river. When he came back home, he narrated all what has happened to his family members. And they decided to consult the Sisoya because of this, those days the crocodiles were wild, they were killing them, they were taking the meat of them. And the Sisoya confirmed that you shouldn't make an attempt to kill a crocodile because the crocodile saved his life. And it's happened that this man had a quarrel of his family members back at Burkina Faso, a village called Kampala. And he decided to look for a place to settle. 
to start from Kinefo Swap towards here where he gets here, he says, you pack you. In our language, it means my eye like this place. That is why I also had the name Paga Paga in Sora Ipagayu. So when he settled here for a few years later, he was something around. He met a small water line. He saw two crocodile line in this water. He came to his mind that back up to Kinefa so Kampala, there are crocodiles, not the Paga here. So he quickly went to the Susoya again. And the Susoya confirmed that the crocodile does save his life for the past years, come to stay with him. So he shouldn't make an attempt to kill any crocodile. He should rather protect them. From there, he vowed not to take a meat of it or killing the or none of his descendants will do so. From there, we also follow that tradition up to now. When they die, we bury them like the way we bury ourselves. And every year, they have been reproducing that, so there are now many other here. So when they are about to leave their eggs, they come to our houses where we dump the refuse, the ball, the big end of them, and leave their eggs, or the size of the river bank. And the normal start to leave their eggs January and the hatch April. And okay. we also believe that the total number of people who stay in Paga here represent the total number of crocodiles, meaning each crocodile represents human soul. So it's the brief history about Paga Crocodile Pond, if you have any question. Okay. Um, mm. A few, a number of years ago when I came, uh, I was told that um, I think that person who found the land, Paga, he became, I think, the first chief. chief of Paga. And so, is it that they lay the eggs everywhere or just at the chiefs? The chief palo or the, there are some particular houses that go like, for instance, if you're a stranger, you settle here, you may not come to your house and leave those eggs. So your house really lay eggs? Oh, yes. For you to know that you, for instance, uh, maybe you are not forbidden to take a crocodile meat, will never come to your house. Mm. Yeah, they won't come there and leave your house. brings us to the end of this vlog I'm right here from the Upper East region Navrongo specifically Paga anytime you find yourself in the Upper East region make it a point to come here come and feed some crocodiles because they need more of your chickens I had an amazing time here thanks to the tour guide and um, everyone who helped us so it's time to go I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed being here as much as I enjoyed documenting my entire experience until next time on my next video exploring Navrongo See you i love you all Mwah. so they are renovating the place so i'm sure the next time you come you see an improvement so the taxi driver that brought us uh, we had to call him to pick us back to the station and it costs five ghana cities per person if you are going to go with the station taxi so yes and the taxi is the drive from the station to Paga is um just about 15 minutes right so,